Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create tabs in Canvas. The first thing that you want to do is click modules. You can see I've already created a module. Week one, I've included the date that the module begins and the date it ends. It's from Monday to Sunday. You can see I've created several pages. Week one introduction recording. the week one introduction, and week one office hours. I'm going to go back to modules, and you can see that those are three separate pages. But what if you could include three tabs and include all of the information on one tab, and students just have to click the tabs in order to view all the information? You can see this is the week one introduction recording. I've included this information along with a graphic that basically reminds students to, to click all of the tabs. They want to click week one introduction next and then week one office hours. So now I will show you how I did that. So this is a page that I've created just so that I could show you how to create tabs. The first thing that you want to do is edit the page. Select the arrows with the diagonal symbol, click or shift, click for the HTML editor. That opens the HTML editor. Then I will paste the HTML codes. I've included all of these codes on my blog. You can copy and paste them from there. You can change from the raw HTML editor to the pretty HTML editor. You can see that the pretty HTML editor contains three different colors. I prefer the raw HTML editor. It's just easier for me to navigate without all of the colors. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to change the title of every tab. So you can see it says tab one title here. I'm going to change that title to week one introduction recording. I'm going to change the tab two title to week one introduction. And I'm going to change the tab three title to week one office hours. The next thing that I want to do is save this just to ensure that I did not delete any of the HTML code. So you can see this is the week one introduction recording tab, week one introduction, and then week one office hours. I want to edit that page and you can see all of the tabs here. So it just says all your text for the tab one area goes here between these tags. I'm going to make space between that sentence and the next sentence. I'm going to make space between the next sentence and the last sentence. So you can see it just says all of your text for tab one area goes here. I'm going to include a different title. Week one introduction recording. I will make that bold and heading two. Same thing with the next sentence, week one introduction, bold heading two. Next, week one, office hours, heading two. Then I will save this information. And you can see I have three tabs, week one introduction recording, week one introduction, week one office hours. The next thing that I'm going to do 
is take the information from all the pages and copy and paste it into each of those tabs. So I have the week one introduction recording information. I'm going to copy this information. Go back to modules. Edit this information and can you see the area between week one introduction recording and week one introduction? That is where I will include the information for tab one. You can include a week one introduction recording, which basically will explain how to access all the material for week one, explain what assignments are due for week one, and any supplemental material that you provide to the students. You can highlight that sentence and then select the links tab and link the recording here. You can also embed a video and I can show you a video that I found. I'm going to copy the embed code. This is just a World War II crash course world history video that I found on YouTube. In order to embed that video, I'm going to select these three vertical dots and I'm going to select or click the cloud, which is the embed tab. Copy and paste the embed code and you can see I've embedded the video here. Now I want to save this just to ensure that everything is okay. Well, that's good. I have all that information. Before I add the information to tab two, I want to include a graphic that reminds students that there are two other tabs that they should click. So I'm going to insert an image. So you can see I've inserted this image before you go. Please read all the tabs. I included the file on my blog. And you can make this larger or smaller. I just created this graphic on Canva. So now what I'm going to do is save that. After I do another step, I save everything just to make sure that I did not delete the HTML code. So you can see everything is here. You can see the before you go graphic right there. You can even make the graphic a little bit smaller and make sure that the graphic is closer to this area so there's not all of this empty space. The next thing that I'm going to do is go back to modules and I'm going to select week one introduction. Click edit and I am going to copy all this information so I can show you how to add it to tab two. Go back to modules. This is the sample page that I'm creating. Edit that page and you can see tab two is titled week one introduction. You can see the title for tab two and then you can see the area between tab tabs two, tab two and tab three. You want to include the copied information there and you also want to include that before you go graphic. I'm going to insert that before you go graphic and I will save this page. You can see week one introduction and then the before you go graphic. Keep in mind you can make the graphic a little bit smaller and you can remove some of that empty space right there. Next, I'm going to go back to modules 
And now I have the week one office hours page. I'm going to copy that information. And I'm going to go to the sample module with all of the, or the sample page with all the tabs, and I'm going to edit. I'm going to add that information that I just copied right below the week one office hours. So I'm going to add it right there, and I will save it. So you can see these are all the tabs. So this may make the material a little bit less overwhelming if you can see all the tabs or if students can see all of the tabs. So you can see week one introduction recording, week one introduction, week one office hours. What you can do is duplicate that information you want to click the three vertical dots, click duplicate, and you can see I've duplicated that information. It may be easier to do that instead of copying and pasting the HTML code again. All you will have to do is change the titles for the tabs. So what I'm going to do is change back to the raw HTML editor and I'm just going to change all of this to week two. I want to save it just to make sure everything is okay. So you can see I've saved that and everything looks fine. The next thing that I want to do is change the title. Week two. Week two. So you see that the titles, the tab titles and the titles for the pages have all been changed. So you can see all of that here. One thing you want to make sure that you don't do is delete any code. You can highlight this information, the information below week two introduction recording and right above the before you go tab and you can paste the new information. So that is how you create tabs in Canvas.